Turkey lives in a dangerous neighborhood, and that danger is spilling over into its borders. The potential for an even wider conflict is also a risk on everyone's mind. That's why Turkey says it needs the most capable defenses. And while it has the second largest army in NATO, Turkey doesn't have its own air defense system. That's something Ankara wants to change. Its goal is to have a self-sufficient defense industry by 2023. But how will this gap be bridged? For almost a year, Ankara has been negotiating with Moscow to buy the S-400 surface air missile defense system. A deal that is raising eyebrows among its Western allies. What exactly is the S-400 and why is it so controversial? The S-400 is a Russian-made anti-aircraft missile system. It's been called one of the most reliable air defenses around and can shoot down almost any target. The S-400 has a range of 400 kilometers and can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. Its capability is so prized that only a few countries have been able to get their hands on it. So far, Russia has only sold the missiles to China and India. But how are Turkey's Western allies reacting to all of this? Well, the US has expressed concern that the S-400 won't be compatible with NATO's defense systems and wants its allies to refrain from buying Russian arms. Washington also accuses Ankara of abandoning its traditional friends. If that's true, what's pushed Turkey to seek such alternatives? Ama biz yıllardır Amerika ile bu tür şeylerde istediğimizi yapamıyorsak, alamıyorsak arayış içerisinde olmak durumu. Ankara says it was disappointed with NATO when they were willing to sell such systems but didn't want to share that technology behind them. Russia is offering what NATO members wouldn't offer. Under the $2.5 billion agreement, two batteries will be delivered by Moscow and the others will be produced in Turkey. Considering the current state of affairs in the region, which side has the better case? <laughs>